decided to get the grader back here and level out these two RV pads a little more. Controls of the road grader here. You can fucking motor home in there too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. If you guys ever want to get like... Okay. But you put your hands on that. Yeah. Candle it. Well, put candle. your hands Come on, on pianist. That. Yeah, this here and this here. And let's see where he's grading. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, looks good. Wow. Guys up there? Yeah, there's. No, they didn't actually let me drive the road grader. <laughs> I've driven a lot of things, but. Um, that road grader is a complicated thing with all those levers and uh, there's pedals on the floor. Um, it kind of reminded me of playing uh, an organ. A and it's been compared to dr playing a piano, driving a road grader. It's a much more complicated machine than I ever imagined. So no, they didn't let me drive the road grader. Uh, they did say they'd let me drive the bulldozer and I learned something about a bulldozer. It doesn't have an accelerator pedal. It has a decelerator pedal. So default is full on, and then you push on the pedal to slow it down. Not a brake. Thing with tracks. Anyway, interesting. But um, I told I should stick to things that are a little more appropriate for me to drive. So, I uh, decided I'd make a video today about something I can drive, my tricycle. And what do I do with it? You know, I used to drive this, and uh, I laid it down in the desert a couple of years ago. I hit a mound and flew over that, and the front wheel hit the hole that was uh, dug that made the mound and fortunately the front wheel bounced out but I flew about six feet and landed in another hole and had I not landed in the hole uh, would have broke my leg but uh, so my leg went in the hole and the bike on top of it anyway I got up from there um, tore a hole in my flannel shirt other than that uh, scraped my elbow a little bit but I got up from that and said, hey, I'm too old for two wheels. Maybe I should get three. And so I have. And uh, just made a video about a couple of things I do with it today. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today.
Thought I'd throw in some dog content here. My friend Holly.
emptied the black tank with the last load. And for this one, we do something a little different. I've never seen anybody else do this, but I've been doing it for 20 years. Flushing my black tank with my own gray water. So what I'm going to do here is going to get the last little bit of stuff out of there. And then I'm going to hold this above the level of the tanks and I'll open up the black and I'm going to open up the gray. And as long as this is above the tank, the gray water is now draining into the black water tank. They're leveling is what's happening. And I do that for a little bit. Probably get about a half a tank of black out of the gray tank. Shut both valves back off. Make sure that we don't have any stuff in here. Open up tank. This is a 28 gallon thing. go shutting off the black opening up the gray I've put about 20 gallons of flush gray water into my black tank like I said I've been doing this for 20 years never had a problem Ready to go again. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.